Now, food prices seem to remain a perpetual problem for consumers. Those looking forward to the Super Bowl could actually see some deflation. Jane Wells has a story. Hi, Jane. Uh, hey, Morgan. You know, I'm all in. I'm wearing my commemorative Roman Gabriel jersey. Google him. Uh, but anyhow, whoever wins or loses on Sunday, you win and lose a little when it comes to the party. We're going to start with the proteins. Wing prices were already down a year ago, and they're down even more. By the way, Taylor Swift's favorite food is chicken tenders there. I have worked her into the story. Ground beef for your tacos and burgers is up, though. But the surprise value this year, shrimp? Take a look at this. Courtney Schmidt at Wells Fargo has been running the numbers, and she says ground beef prices are up 12% from a year ago. You can see what's happening with shrimp and chicken. Shrimp is down 6%. It's the value now. And wing prices down anywhere from 5 to 11%. Why? They've been dealing with some export restrictions from related to the bird flu again this year. Um, and then they've had, you know, more weight on the birds. That's caused more production. Now we have plenty of avocados, so guac prices are about flat, but it's in the packaged goods where you're going to start to see inflation. It's the packaging costs more, there's higher labor costs, and uh, wages are going up. Chip prices, according to Schmidt, are up 5 to 6 percent. PepsiCo this morning talked about higher potato prices. Salsa prices are up 3 percent as we move to beverages. Beer prices are starting to flatten out. You know, not as many young people are drinking beer. It's about a buck 75 for 16 ounces, she says. And when it comes to soda, soda in a can is up 5% from a year ago, and soda in a plastic liter is down 1%. So it all depends on whether it's the aluminum or the plastic. And as we look at how PepsiCo has performed after reporting earnings, Schmidt says soda has been, has seen the highest food inflation of any category since COVID. Canned is up 55% since 2020. And uh, in liters, it's up 33%. Guys, who knew? Get out of here. 55% since when, Jane, did you say? Coke? Soft drink? Since COVID, 2020. 55% for flavored carbonated sugar water. A lot of it, of course, is what it comes in. I have to say, I know, I remember watching Roman Gabriel. He was so dreamy. Him he was dreamy. He was, he was a big, tall guy, I think, from North Carolina State, if I'm remembering correctly. I can't remember. But. I think so. He's still alive. He's out in Palm Springs. He's in his mid-80s, you know. But they could never get past those darn Vikings. No, that's right. And then the Vikings could I'm never so get past bitter. whoever it was they were playing because they never won a Super Bowl. I know. Jane Wells, enjoy I the know. wings. Thank you. Thank you. All right, see you soon.